Jason here at Blood Church coming to you today. God bless you. Wanted to have a little conversation as I do a little errand with you. Uh, you know, on the importance of the you know, giving the gospel and having the understanding of salvation. You know, there are many, many people that I talk to that claim to be Christian that really just don't have an understanding of the gospel. I don't you know, they don't you know, they go to a church which unfortunately tells them different things about how to be saved and, and, and a lot of them are you got to believe in faith in Jesus, but with your head, not your heart. You then you turn around and have to do other things to, to not lose it. It's really sad. You know, if you're a part of one of these charismatic churches that believe in signs, and 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 then you know that's a heresy. If you any any other church that adds works to Jesus's dying on the cross is a heresy. And here, and let me tell you why. When Jesus shed all his blood, he did it for a reason. He didn't come if, if God didn't have to come down and have his son in, in the in the form of Jesus, his the only begotten son of God, God himself in flesh. And he and he didn't have to put himself on a bloody bloody mess of a cross and die for us to give us a salvation message by a prophet, then why would he have done it? I mean, that's case in point. And there's a lot of verses. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, John 3, 16, Romans. Um, you know, you can go to many places, 10, 8, and 9. You can go to Romans 8. I like to go to 30, um, 30, 34 through 39. Really, really beautiful. That how, you know, you can't be separated from God. And, you know, once you're once you're saved, you're always saved. Once saved, always saved. Past, present, future sins forgiven. But a lot of people, the heresy they teach is, okay, so now that you believe in Jesus, now you got to go do works. Well, no, that's, that's a false teaching. That's not a reality. And, um... That leaves people without security of their final destination, and it's a blasphemy to the Lord. It makes what Jesus did on that cross not good enough. So you're telling me the sacrifice that God made for us is not good enough? There's no way that that makes any logical sense. And people don't do Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy 2.15 to rightly divide the word of truth. Um as you can see throughout the Bible, right, that there's not one way to salvation. It's not just believing on Jesus. I mean, Jesus was not around before he died. You know, he came in as the begotten son and then died on a cross. So, of course, the law was a works doctrine that the Israelites had to perform. They had a physical relationship. God even appeared to them. That's so much different than the spiritual walk of the Christian church age where it says in the Bible that the Greeks will believe the word of God and with faith and not have to see works like the Jews. Jesus wasn't around when Adam and Eve were in the garden, only only the father. Now, Jesus was not around when Noah built his ark and that was Noah's salvation was doing what the Lord instructed to build his ark and to save humanity. So to sit here and say that, you know, there's always just been faith and then works is wrong. Um, and this day and age in the church age it's faith alone by the blood of jesus christ and there's many verses that you know i've done videos on those before but i really feel sorry for the heresies out there and the churches that mislead people you know to stray and their disbelief in in the deity of jesus christ first and foremost often there are cults out there that don't believe jesus is god that's false it's a part of the trinity so you know i had a i had somebody recently asked me about the Trinity, and, and I didn't really get a chance to answer it, um, but I'm going to do it in this video. So, you know, to me, the Trinity is a complex thing. Um, you know, salvation is the most important thing, and that you believe in Jesus Christ and what he did, but you also need to believe that Jesus is God and part of the Trinity. And, and to me, it's, 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 you know, the way I, there's a couple different ways to look at it, right? If, if you take a basketball or a football, whatever sport you like, or ever, if you've seen one of those, if you don't like those sports, it doesn't matter. When you put air inside the ball and it's pumped up, you, it, you know, you can, you can throw it, you can bounce it, it, you know, it works, but it has three different parts to it. It has a leather outside. Okay. It has a a like lining inside that holds the air essentially like an airbag but it, it, it holds the air and then it has the air so I like to look if you can look at the Holy Spirit that way um, the ins the inside air is the whole is the Holy Holy Ghost it's the Holy Spirit the bag holding that 
I like to call that God the Father. You know, he's the glue in the middle. You know, he... Um, and he holds that air. And then he, he he produced the begotten son, which you can see the outside of it, and of, of a ball, right? So that's sort of like Jesus Christ coming down in the flesh. And, and that flesh can be seen and destroyed And when, it, when he walked. And, and Jesus Christ is come, right? He's always always present, you know, in, in the world. His blood, his sacrifice, atonement is always there for us. And so the Trinity, you know, you could also look at it as a... Um, you know, as a circle, and then you have an inner middle that says God, and then there's three open areas from that middle, one to God the Father, one to Jesus Christ the Son, and one to the Holy Ghost. And all three are equal to God and are, are, are God, and they all are a part of the circle together. And in the center, all three come together to make God. That's another way to look at it. Um, and it's a complex it's a complex topic to talk with some people, you know, especially kids or people that are new to the faith. Um, but it's important to know that about the Trinity, about the three and one, and to understand the complexity of God. And, and God made makes many things in this world in, in threes. And I'll give you another example. We as human beings are, are three parts. We're, we're flesh, um, we have a soul, and a spirit. God did that on purpose because we are three in one, just like God is three in one. And, and, and you can see the beauty of three in many things. Uh, many, many things. Anyway, I'm getting ready to run a quick errand. Just wanted to, t to tell each and every one of you uh, the importance of just the gospel and understand the Trinity. God bless. And have a great day.